Well, Sean, a.k.a. Subliminal, That's right. uh, was cast in the film. Uh, we had auditions, and he came into the audition. And I have a thing where, as a director, I have kind of laser eyes. I'll look at what's on the page, but then I'll look to see what the artist really, truly has mm -hmm. beneath. Because um, you want an artist to bring themselves fully to the role. So when he came into the room, you know, I saw something in him, and then we began to do this improv, this crazy improv. Hey, try this. Do this. Don't do that. Do that. I want you to do this. Take your shirt off. I want you to try this. Okay, you're going to do this. And he was absolutely brilliant. I was like watching magic, but see, I don't get excited. I just kind of watch, and then the casting people are like, well, this is a different kind of director, because normally people come in and go, hey, my name is Catfish. What are you doing in the sale, man? Thank you. And I'm like going, ah, forget the script, you know, do this, you know. And he was just brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. And so then um, he made me write for the character. He made me create for the character because then I was like going, oh, man, he could be in the cell. He could do this. Oh, he's his corner man. Oh, no, 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 no. He's gambling, too. And he could do. So all this stuff started to come into my brain. And then when we started to shoot the film, what went from one day turned into a character that is throughout the film, that brings comedy to the story, that brings heart to the story. Uh, it, it's reminiscent to me of Richard Pryor and Lady Sings the Blues. I know that's a high order, but it's kind of like when you have somebody that has comedy chops and they know how to do drama too, there's times in the movie where, you know, subliminal Sean's character, Catfish, will touch you and make you cry because he's crying for what Sonny Liston's going through. Then there's times that he's really funny because he's in prison commentating on the fighters and he's dogging them out, talking about them like, you know, like the best, you know, comedian in a nightclub roasting them. Yeah. So we get all these different textures. So for me, as I create a palette of a movie, you need someone with that comic ability. So, you know, I had no idea of him as a spoken word artist or a musician or what have you. I just saw raw talent and I was like, wow, he has a gift and now the gift is in the movie. So I, and if you have your loonies and toonies, you can see what he does in the film. You've seen him in promos, but you have not seen him in the film. All right, so in essence, you created this role out of what you saw in him. And mm -hmm. Not, what he not was the seeing. strawberry man, not the strawberry. Strawberry love. Strawberry love. That's his <laughs> other ego. In this one, he's catfish. All right, good. And, and what is catfish all about? T describe that character. Sean, do you think that he could, in, in Subliminal Kong, you see that he could, you know, do more roles like this, and, you know, uh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, after his... Oh, no problem. <laughs> 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 All right. Yeah. Um, what, what I would say, uh, um, as a director, I've pretty much directed, you know, a, a lot of big-name people from, you know, Eddie Murphy to uh, recently working with Chris Tucker, Eddie Griffin, Beyonce, uh, Angela Bassett. So when I think in terms of Sean and uh, Subliminal as Catfish, he holds his own. And so I can really say that. Somebody else might say, well, Robert Townsend, you, you know, I've worked with Denzel. I've worked with the, the, the biggest boys and girls of all time, Bill Cosby on down. When I see somebody that has the gift, the gift can be in the States or the gift can be right here in Toronto. And he has the gift right here in Toronto. It, it, it's kind of like um, I was the first one to direct Beyonce. And I remember uh, the studios didn't want her for Carmen, the hip hopper that we did. And she was in Destiny's Child. No one had ever uh, seen her act. She had never acted before. And uh, the thing to me was that I said, I think she's got something. She came into the studios to, in New York and I made her do an improv similar to like what, you know, Sean did, you know, and uh, same thing. That's just my technique. I need to see what people are made out of. I had Beyonce rolling around the ground. I had her, you know, crazy screaming, pulling her hair out, laughing, crying, and she went there. And I said to everybody in the room, I said, she's got it. She's going to be a star. And then they were nervous initially. And then after that, they offered her the Fighting Temptations. And then, you know, this movie, the Pink Panther, and then ultimately Dream Girls. And now she's on her way. But I know when somebody has it, you know what I mean? And sometimes I'm the first soldier that touches the talent. You know, like Damon Wayans, his first time was with me in Hollywood Shuffle, had three lines, follow the empty activator bottles to Jerry Curl's crib. But when people have it, they have it. 
You know what I'm saying? And, you know, uh, with, with Subliminal, a.k.a. Sean, a.k.a. Catfish, for those of you that use your loonies and toonies to come and see the movie, you'll see an incredible performance.